Hello there, the YouTubes. It's Mike Kaylee Seven. I hope you're doing all right, because I know I am. So far, so good. Can't complain. Look at them clouds. Isn't that cool? Wow. It's amazing how all this has changed over the years. This all used to be forest over here. And they're putting in a big highway coming right across. That'll be something. I have a feeling that this light will not recognize me. But we'll see. We shall see. Oh my goodness, it did. <laughs> Alrighty. Happiness. Thought I was going to have to go through that one. Jesus, I can't see a damn thing. Wow, it's all going to be highway over here. Progress. You cannot stand in its way. You know, I was recently thinking about the loss of knowledge when a person dies. Like when my dad died, all that knowledge that he had about different ways to get here and there or, you know, different tips and tricks for getting things done around the house, you know, handyman stuff or how to operate a crane. I mean, all the expertise and all the experience that that man had over, you know, many, many decades. He died at 74, so... Um, all of that died with him. You know, all of that priceless knowledge. And now my mom's gone, and all that family history. I mean, I tried to get as much of it as I could, but there's so much, so many memories that died with her. Ways to do things, wisdom, all that, it's gone. And of course, you know, people pass a lot of what they know on to others, obviously, but still there's a wealth of experience that just goes when a person goes. But then I thought, well, wait a minute. My father knew all these really amazing ways to get around town, stuff that I called it the wormhole. I mean, he would just be able to figure his way out to places like, wow, how did we even get here? And one day he took me into Boston and he showed me places that he used to hang out at when he was a little kid. There was one called the Bug House where they used to watch movies and you know, it was like for a nickel you could see two pictures and have a hot dog. And it was apparently really infested with bugs so they called it the Bug House. It had a big smiley face on it and he pointed to where it used to be, you know. And the entire trip was all where stuff used to be, and I was totally unrecognizable now, like Scully Square. If you ask somebody where Scully Square is in Boston, anybody my age and younger, they don't know what the hell that is. And people who do know say, ah, stupid government center project, destroyed all that. My father was on that job. He was uh, in one of the cranes that demolished Scully Square and put in government center and the uh, and the city hall and all that so he was part of the the progress that erased so much of the history that he knew so that made me think you know all the stuff that I know about things all the stuff that everybody knows eventually becomes obsolete you know think of all the wonderful things that Benjamin Franklin knew about you know, bifocals or you know, lightning rods on the roof kind of thing. And all that knowledge is kind of, eh, you know, we have technology now that can do all that, whatever. Well, he did patent the, the lightning thing and the bifocal thing. But there's so much knowledge that people have that is really not even useful anymore. Like how to thresh or how to... Um, how to weave, I mean, a lot of that stuff, or how to plow a field with an ox, I mean, that kind of stuff is just gone. 
Or you, you say, oh, I know every street and every back road. I can take you here, there, and everywhere. Well, what about when they change the, the roads, which they're doing constantly? Road that used to be there isn't there anymore. Road that uh, was never there is suddenly there. Or it, it's now a one way. So eventually everything you know becomes obsolete anyway. Like my mother, you know, she knew little tips and tricks about ironing clothes and stuff, you know, when she was a housewife. Nobody really does that stuff anymore. I mean, I imagine people still iron clothes, but a lot of people don't. I don't. I know I don't. A lot of my clothing is wrinkle-free. So really, how valuable is it, you know? And these watered-down stories that, that people have of their family history. And they get ever more watered-down and mixed with different things. And next thing you know, the the past is, is gone. Kind of like um, in the John Adams movie when they showed him the painting of the Founding Fathers at the signing of the Declaration of Independence. And he said, this doesn't happen like this. They, none of us was here all together like this. We, we were coming in and out of the Capitol. We were under threat, under possible arrest. It was boiling hot, this, that, and the other. He says, nobody knows the true history of it. It's dead. Because the people who lived it died. And he, of course, he was morose about it. But that's just a fact, right? I mean, eventually, everything you know will be gone. Think of all the, 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 the magnificent knowledge that Romans had or Egyptians had about doing different things. Like like the pyramids, you know, the Egyptians had all these methods of cutting those stones and moving them and putting them in place and now we're like, aliens did it! How much would that piss off the people who worked their asses off to get that thing built or those things built over all those years? All that suffering and, and striving and working hard to do something great and then now we're like aliens did it or like the Moai you know in uh, Easter Island aliens did it no a bunch of idiots you know made a, a bunch of carvings of rocks and and used up all the trees and ended up killing themselves because there are no trees left because they're stupid kind of like what we're doing now <laughs> using up all the trees and cutting down the forests and putting in roads I never realized Mike was such a hippie. There's just too many damn people. That's a story for another day. So yes, I, I do value uh, the knowledge that's in my little head. But I, I do realize that nothing is permanent, nothing is forever. And so everything that I know very likely will become obsolete. For example, teaching teaching anything. Eventually the way technology is going and they're already doing it uh, and just multiply that by 100 200 years teaching is going to become a thing of the past you'll just have that knowledge uh, downloaded into your head. No, not you because you'll be dead but future generations long from now 100 years, 200 years from now will look back at us and think oh how quaint they went to a place called a school and they studied things called books and now all you have to do is just on demand download it and some of you might think that'll never happen mm -hmm. that's what they said about the moon landing back in the early part of the 20th century and before that if you wanted to say something was impossible you would say ah, it's like landing on the moon now we've been there six times. Oh boy, here we go with the people. There was no moon landing, it was fake. Okay, pal. Okay. Tinfoil showing. Look at them clouds. Or people who knew how to shift a manual car, you know, manual transmission on a car, they were really good at it. You know, I could shift, do, 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 
And now that skill, is, it's quaintly obsolete. Like, really? You, you think that's important still? Everybody has automatics now, and the automatics can shift way better than any human. The computers now are that good. And you know where I'm going with this. Even Kawasaki is, they're, they're developing um, automatic transmissions for their motorcycles. So eventually, just like with the cars, the bikes are going to move to having that option. And then people being the lazy shits that they are, like me, are going to say, you know what, it's just so much easier to have the bike do it itself. And then I don't have to worry about it. I can just focus on enjoying the ride and not have to worry about the timing of the shifts. And people are going to move to that over time. Just the way they move from the standard shift car to the automatic car, now they're going to move to the automatic bike. And I know you're, I can shift better than the automatic, and I like the, the feel of the bike, I'm connected to the bike, and it's better for this, that, and even I agree with the, right now, the way this technology is, it's not as easy to do a, a slow U-turn without being able to feather a clutch. I didn't realize what I was what I had left behind until I got the Kawasaki. And then I thought, oh, you know what? I kind of did like that. So eventually they'll probably come up with a, a way to do it. Wow. The clouds are amazing today. So everything you are, everything you value, everything that you know is eventually going to be gone. It's going to be obsolete meaningless and you might think oh that's a terrible thing but but no really it isn't because at some point if you were to live long enough you wouldn't fit anymore hell a lot of people are already noticing that I'm noticing that I don't really fit anymore I mean I, I kind of do and I can kind of roll with it and I can adapt and all that but things are getting to the point now where I'm just thinking geez another 20 years this place is going to move so far beyond me, I, I don't even know if I want to be around for it. So I'm just enjoying it while I can, and trying to roll with it while I can. And I'm asking people, you know, what pronoun they prefer. No, actually I'm not doing that yet, because I don't have to. My students are not, um, they're not doing that yet. International students are just like Americans were 50 years ago. So my crowd is still kind of old-fashioned that way. Oh, damn it! They closed the damn... <sighs> Pharmacy's closed at 7 p.m. <sighs> Stupid. So now I gotta go home after uselessly riding down here for drugs that I cannot pick up. You know what? Screw this. I'm gonna change everything over to Walgreens. <sighs> Well, then maybe they close at 7, too. Maybe the, the store part's open 24 hours, but the pharmacy part's only open till like, 3 p.m. A bird farted. We have to close. All right, this is my Kaylee 7. Annoyed. I'll talk to you later.